In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service so that as we take up the battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants of the breast, at, and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach. With the nations ruling over them, why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. 
For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We are ambassadors for Christ. God, as it were, appealing through us, we implore you in Christ's name, be reconciled to God. For our sakes, for our sakes, God made him who did not know sin to be sin, so that in him we might become the very holiness of God. As your fellow workers, we beg you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you. On a day of salvation, I have helped you. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to adore at Jesus Christ. Glory and praise, praise to, to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. May you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, be on guard against performing religious acts for people to see. Otherwise, expect no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, for example, do not blow a horn before you in synagogues and streets like hypocrites looking for applause. You can be sure of this much, they are already repaid. In giving alms, you are not to let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Keep your deeds of mercy secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you are praying, do not behave like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues or on street corners in order to be noticed. I give you my word, they are already repaid. Whenever you pray, go to your room, close your door, and pray to your father in private. Then your father, who sees what no man sees, will repay you. When you fast, you are not to look glum as the hypocrites do. They change the appearance of their faces so that others may see they are fasting. I assure you, they are already repaid. When you fast, see to it that you groom your hair and wash your face. In that way, no one can see you are fasting but your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The fundamental demand that Jesus required of anyone who wanted to be part of the reign of God and the kingdom of God was repentance. But it was repentance that was more than mere regret for things I've done wrong or um, a change of mind. 
It was the deep-seated uh, understanding and the Semitic mind uh, of going in one direction and knowing that you're on the wrong path and completely changing directions and walking back. If we have distanced ourselves from God or if we feel that God is distant from us, it's not us, it's not God who moved, it's us who moved. And we still feel the effects of uh, that original sin, that human weakness and sometimes even willfulness inside of us to be able to say no to God. So today the church invites us uh, to a 40-day retreat in which we can use the spiritual tools that the church places before us and has from the time of our Lord uh, to recapture in essence our intimate relationship with God. And if things have disturbed that because we've become steeped in the ways of the world or captivated by the allurements of the world, that we've pulled ourselves away from God and a deep relationship with him, then these are the days that bring us back to it. But Jesus cautions us not to be caught up in the externals of repentance, but do what Joel says, rend our hearts and not simply our garments. What the Lord is looking for is a, is a change of heart. Not simply the externals of putting ashes on one's forehead, as if that's going to do anything to change our lives for the next 40 years, unless those ashes are marked in our hearts. See, when we leave the church tonight, we'll have ashes on our forehead and Christ in our hearts. But tonight, you're going to wash those ashes off your forehead. And Lent could be that simple. It can end when you go to bed tonight, unless we make a deep-seated commi uh, commitment to live with the spiritual tools. Prayer, because it's our lifeline to God. It's the intimate conversation. And then fasting, because we become disordered in satisfying the comforts of the human body and our own drives and desires. And almsgiving, because so often we think we're important because of what we possess and we strive to possess even more. Prayer, fasting, almsgiving. Those are the tools but use them for an internal change and not simply externally to look good to the world. We do so, these next 40 days will bring us to a whole different understanding and a deeper life with us rooted in Christ our Lord, amen. Dear friends, let us ask our merciful Father to bless and make holy these ashes, which we will use as a mark of our repentance. O almighty and everlasting God, spare those who are penitent, be merciful to those who implore you, and graciously grant to send your holy angel from heaven to bless and make holy these ashes, that they may be a wholesome remedy to all who humbly implore your holy name and who accuse themselves conscious of their sins, deploring their crimes before your divine majesty, or humbly and earnestly imploring your sovereign goodness, and grant through the invocation of your holy name that whosoever might be marked with them for the remission of their sins may receive both health of body and safety of soul. Almighty God, who did vouchsafe your healing pardon to the Ninevites doing penance in sackcloth and ashes, mercifully grant that we, may be so, that we may so imitate them in our outward attitude as to allow them, as to follow them in obtaining your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. shall return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Parity and love prevail. Remember thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return.
Allah shall return. Let us pray, asking God's guidance and grace during this Lenten season with faith and trust we now present our prayers and petitions for all church leaders who challenge us by word and example to live the fullness of the gospel we pray to the Lord, Lord for public officials to meet the needs of the poor and the disadvantaged we pray to the Lord. For the people of Ukraine, that God may grant them peace, strength, and courage, we pray to the Lord. For people blinded by fear or hardness of heart and unable to see God's love, we pray to the Lord. That each of us may encourage others to live the spirit of Lent through prayer, almsgiving, and fasting, we pray to the Lord. For all Christians who hope to begin a new path in their spiritual journey this day, we pray to the Lord. That the Lord Jesus will grant healing to the sick and suffering and eternal life to all the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord God, grant that we may have the courage to begin every day knowing your presence is always with us. Help us to be faithful to the spirit of Lent, for we ask these things through Christ our Lord. Brethren, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we now acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Panam chalastin rachipiyam matamani nomina vokabo. body of Christ.
Just a reminder that the uh, Word Among Us Lenten meditation books are available in the narthex on the table. You're f please feel free to take one home and use it throughout the Lenten season as a tool for your spiritual uh, development. Uh, also, Monday night, March the 7th, uh, our parish Lenten penance service will take place and additional priests will be here to help us be reconciled to God. Uh, be careful going home. Have a good evening. And let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass and thanks to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Bernard of Clairvaux. from 